Hello everyone, welcome to favorite YouTube channel by Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Payroll Management System. Let's see the requirements of this code. You require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second, you require code blocks or VS code for better experience. Third, you require an operating system. You may use any operating system, but the recommended ones are Windows 10. Now we'll see the code. And I'll run this code and I'll show you the working as well. So here, first we have included all the header files, then the standard line that is using names is std. Then we have a integer data type of uh, value zero and name is num. Then we have certain functions like go to expire, call delay, border, border no delay, login frame, intro, login menu, insert, edit, etc. We'll see what does this functions do one by one. Here, this is the class employee. Here, uh, in the employee class, under the public access specifier, we have all the employee attributes like the name of the employee, code, designation, experience, age, salary, loans, HRA, PF, and many more things. We'll see what this do. Then in the get records function, what we are going to do is we are going to get the record of the particular employee. Here we are using file handling procedure, and uh, the file which you have been using is records.txt. In the save records function, again we have this records.txt function. Uh, records.txt file in the write mode and the read mode as well. This is the uh, call delay function. In the call delay function, what we are going to do is we are going to give a pause. Like it works like the delay function. Like after a certain time, you can again progress. Then in the login frame one, in this function, basically this is the login frame. Here the top and bottom borderline will be displayed after certain interval, and the left and right borderline will also be displayed. This is the login function. Here you have to use then. A username and password. The username will be admin and the password is password. And after which it will say that the login is successful and you will be redirected in three seconds. If the access will be denied, it says access denied and you will be again redirected in three seconds. This is the call delay function actually. Then the window size function here the width and the height has been initialized to 670 and 445. Then here you are going to get the windows size as different. Then the go to xy, the coordinate function here, the coordinates will be initialized to x and y, and the console cursor position will be initialized this coordinates. Then border no delay function here, the top and bottom borderline and the left and right borderline will be displayed accordingly. It will take certain intervals to make the code look visually good. The border function here, you are taking certain parameters like the x length, y length, x length, and y length here. We have initialized each parameter to 2, 2, 7, 6, and 22 accordingly. Then again, for the top and bottom borderline and for the left and right borderline, we have certain different attributes. This you can visualize and I'll show you the output. So don't worry about it right now. This is the login frame function. We have the, in the login frame, this also displays. This basically gives a good structural framework to the code. Then in the insert function, you can insert new record. Like the name, code, designation, years of experience, age, and working hours. And here, this is a do while loop which will be running. It will ask you to um, type if you have certain loan or not. Then, if yes, you have to enter the loan balance and the record will be successfully recorded. If no, then your salary will be shown. In the intro function it will say payroll management system. You can press any key to continue. In the list function, this will be the list of employees. Uh, displayed accordingly according to their name, code, designation, years, age, and salary. In the loading function, basically, here the files will get loaded. Uh, this is basically the call delay function. Then in the menu, you, know, all, you can type I, E, D, S, L, P, Q. Accordingly, you can type any option. Accordingly, it will be driven to the code. In the deletes function, the record will be deleted. You can have a backup of that file which you deleted. In the search, you can search through the job code of the employee. Here, the unique identifier is a job code, and you have to enter the code of the employee. And the designated employee's name will be defined and accordingly, the name, code, designation, years, age, and salary. Then, if the record will not be found, it will show records found in the edit menu function. You can edit anything like the name, code, designation, experience, or any attribute you can edit it as per your choice. But you need to have the access. Then, for different attribute, you have different. Function like for name, we have added name for code, we have added code for experience, we have added experience for age, we have added age, and so on. Then we have the final edit function. Here we are going to call 
accordingly to what we want to edit. Tell the display pay slip, all the pay slip of the employee with all the attributes, with all the functions get displayed, with all the particular allowances that he has been assigned to. This is the main function. In the main function, we call all the functions because the execution of a program begins from main and ends in main as well. Here we have used a switch case. In the switch case, we have certain options, certain functions called through which the various functionalities can be performed. So now we'll run the code and we'll see what the output exactly looks like. Okay. So we have the terminal C. This is the delay. This is the work of the delay. So I've entered C. This is the call delay function. So it is giving a very good look to your computer. And when Passcode is E A S S W O R T. Success has been denied. Okay. My username is admin. Passcode is E A S S W O R T. Login is success. So now, okay. What I'll do is I'll insert a new record. I. My name is. Run. 12 designation I am not is e years of experience 2 age is 20 walking house is 5 we don't know I got successfully now let me edit and show it to you the job code I guess was 12 I'll be editing the name so my name will be C cool now I'll quit I won't edit anything now I'll List the employee table for you. See. Change. This is mine. This data I have entered before. This I have entered now. Cool. Then I have to employ a payslip I have to show. My earnings, my deductions, all everything has been displayed here. And my total pay is also displayed. Got it? Now let's search for a record. My job code is 12. See, see me 12. My designation is software developer. Years 220 and salary. Now we'll quit. So I hope you understood the working of this program. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.